right YouTube today I have a special unboxing it is the third generation iPod shuffle now this will not be an easy one because it was purchased at Best Buy and what Best Buy tends to do with iPod shuffles is take the box it's already in and put pla more plastic over it so that could be hang hung on public view and shelf so it'll sort of be a pain in the neck this time to make things easier with uh, the unboxing I am going to use a smaller knife to give me more leverage which is apparently working Literally have to destroy it to get into it. So please wait uh, for a little while before AI can actually unbox the uh, iPod itself. Okay, I'm back. The battle of getting this off the actual box is now over. What a pain in the butt that was. Anyway, let's get down to this. This is the third generation iPod Shuffle. As you can see, it sort of looks like it's not clipped in, but it really is. This is a 2 gigabyte one. So, without further ado, let's get down to the unboxing of it. Like most iPods, you gotta remove a sticker first. <laughs> and just like some of the previous Nanos and Shuffles, it folds down like this. Here it is. The glory of itself. Just pop it, pop it out. And Here's the iPod Shuffle, still in its case. Very, very thin. Here's the top, the bottom, and the back. I don't know why it's shaking. I'll just put that down right here. And then comes what what people really hate about uh, this iPod which would be uh, the uh, headphones now um, so you can see uh, they're the ones with the uh, controller in the back I'm not going to take those out because uh, you'll see why in a little bit and I'll give you a little input on that because uh, many people do not like the headphones for the iPod Shuffle. So um, in order to use things like Skull Candy, JVC gummies, they weren't able to. The only option was using the Apple uh, headphones for remote and mic, and the Apple in-ear headphones, which are 80 bucks. But now Belkin has a solution. This is the headphone adapter for iPod Shuffle. It's got the remote right in it. This part plugs into your iPod, and this is what you plug your headphones into. Still with the three simple buttons. We'll get to that in a little while. But, here's the little cable the Shuffle comes with. Very tiny. And as most iPods do, we have start here. Remove the band. 
start here, which is basically your quick start guide. They always say quick start, but now they're uh, start here. And all the same things that tell you what to do and what not. Important product information, which barely anybody reads. And what a lot of people really love, but don't really use them, two Apple stickers. Stick those right in there. Now let's remove the queen. So like previous shuffles, you pull out some flaps. Hold the thought. Okay, now I'm back. I had to remove yet yeah, another sticker. Like I said, like previous shuffles, it slides out. Man, this is the first time I held one without having it being bolted down like an Apple store or something, but this thing is really tiny. Put the clip. It is now free from the packaging 100%. We'll just stick that little sucker in there. All components to the side. Now, like I said, most people hate Apple headphones. One of them is me. I like to use Skull Candy inked headphones. So to use that, I bought, and also at Best Buy, the Belkin headphone adapter for iPod Shuffle. So, which is yet another thing to unbox. The tricky part is how to get it out. There we go. Just like if you had a pair of Apple headphones, Falcon logo, stick your headphones into this part and this into the iPod, and just use your three simple buttons. Now I do not think that they have uh, anything else in this box. Wait a minute, yeah they do. This, this is an unboxing in itself. And another quick start guide. Hmm. Same type of paper. Well, that's all, folks. So, if you'd like a review, uh, please leave a comment. Don't forget to rate and subscribe if you want to. So. Hope you all enjoyed watching. Thanks for watching. Real Tech Chaser out.